Final Cut Pro offers sensor tools, but they're just not that good. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Have you ever wanted to blur or censor something or an object from your footage? Maybe it's someone's face or a license plate, anything at all. You can do that within Final Cut Pro using their sensor tool. However, that sensor tool is very limiting. So what I've done is created a new sensor tool plugin for you to use, which will add much more fine tuned control over whatever you wanna censor in your footage. So here we are in Final Cut Pro, and as you can see, I already have a clip added to my timeline. And this is from a vlog that I'm currently editing, but I've just been under the weather and haven't been able to put it out for the past week so just bear with me that will be coming out soon so what I'm gonna censor out in this video is right up top here I want to censor out this Durham school services sign on the bus so assuming you have the sensor plugin already installed you're gonna head over to your effects browser and you can do one of two things. You can come down to the search and type in sensor and it'll pull up both sensor plugins. You'll see there's the Apple default sensor effect and then my sensor effect, or you can just click on custom and then you'll see here's my sensor effect along with my ghosting plugin. So all we're gonna do is drag and drop this right on top of our footage and you'll see it loads the blur right there. Then you're gonna come over to your inspector window and you'll see here all the settings for this effect. We can change the rotation, we can change the scale, and if you open these up, you have even more fine-tuned controls. You can change the shear, the shape, the type of blur. So let's change the type of blur to pixelate and let's change it from an oval to a rectangle, which Apple's effect doesn't allow. And let's take off the feathering a bit so it's nice and square. We're gonna drag this over here. Now obviously that's really big, so I wanna change the scale of it. So you can change the scale with the X, Y, and Z protocol, or you can change the scale of the full thing all at once. And now we're gonna rotate it just a little bit so it kind of fits in there really well. Now we're gonna change the height of it. So it fits right inside those two lines right there. I'm gonna drag it down just a little bit. And now I'm gonna change the amount bring it down much smaller and there it is we just blurred and censored out this school name on the bus so that's it guys hope you enjoyed this new free plugin if you did hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe because i got new free stuff coming out for you soon thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video see ya